just always try and keep it an open mind, as open mind as possible. And I think over the last couple of years, we've been putting a lot of categories that I think are too limiting for what we try and do, which we, we try and sort of do a lot of different things. We like doing slower, ballad type things. We like doing the fast. So it's like we have like a certain area where we feel comfortable operating in. And I just hate when people try and limit us or limit you know, what they allow us to do or whatever. So, you know, that's the bait, the whole attitude of Metallica. On this type of tour, you have to wake up like at about 11 o'clock. And you're on stage by 2.30, which yeah. is different. I mean, when you do a regular tour, you get up at about four or five o'clock in the afternoon and can comfortably eat and everything and just kind of hang out yeah. and get you know practice for a while and do the show stuff like that this is like a real quick thing up at noon and on stage two hours later it's like it's, it's a, like a weird catch 22 because if you get too late to sleep and you don't get enough sleep you feel like beep you know during the day and you play less but if you get a lot of sleep you know get 10 hours of sleep which has happened a couple times you wake up and you feel like really groggy for the first kind of first couple hours because you've slept so much so it's like it's a no matter what happens you lose on this tour i've gotten more sun than i have in the last two years Excited, extra excited about this thing. You know, every show means so much. You know, it's like charge, this huge charge. It has to be that way. The kids are expecting that. The kids are expecting so much. And seeing us in two years, they're expecting us to just kill them. is the best. Why? Because they play the hardest metal there is. Metallica rules. I like it because they're just a bunch of guys having fun. I mean, we don't view ourselves as being much different than the audience. I mean, we just happen to be the guys up on stage, and they just happen to be the people in the audience. And we, I mean, we're musicians, but I'm sure there's a lot of other musicians out there. Uh, and that's something that we've always, always took into account. That, I mean, we're basically fans, too. Mm. If we weren't there on the stage, be there, be there, checking out the bands. Yeah. Just put it like this, right. when you see Metallica uh, in the hotel on the day off, they're dressed exactly like when you see them on stage, you know? And I dig that. I say, yeah. you know, they don't go out there the same thing. They're not putting on a show. They're going out there and playing music and doing, just doing this thing. And in a way, they're, they're like my favorite band on the show, too, only because it does, it just, it reminds me just to kind of stay in touch with the street and with what really where you're really at and not, and not get too showbiz, you know. might sound a bit arrogant, but Metallica is like a very inward-looking band. You know the kind of performance that come up and go, well, we're doing this for the kids, and we're playing for the people out there, and, you know, rock and roll for the people. It's like, we're like exactly the opposite. We like look more inwards and are more worried about keeping ourselves satisfied and really doing what feels right to us. The last thing Metallica wants to be known as is a, is a, as a band that's, you know, preaching... I mean, we're not, you know, out to say, hey, we're a band with a message. I mean, the topics that that are involved with us are just things that that mean something to us personally. I mean, if you get the message, you know, that's cool, because that's how we think. If you don't get the message, then, you know, well... We try to instill a sense of realism into our music. We don't like sing about love and partying. Can you picture us playing the music that we do and singing lyrics like, come on baby, come to my pad, we'll have a good time. <laughs> I 
Metallica would never change to cater to anyone else's mind. We would always stay the same and have people cater, you know, change for us. And I think that looking back on the last couple of years, the most satisfying thing is that that's really what's happened, you know. I think part of what Metallica is that there's always the the thing that we can always go in whatever direction we want because we always set the terms ourselves, you know what I mean? So I don't want to sit here and go, we'll never do this, we'll never do that because if it feels right to us, then we're going to do it and we're not going to worry about what other people think of it.